Hey Anna 4, I have a really important question before you start the video. Sure man, what is it? And also, great job on the 13th podcast episode. Thank you. I wanted to know, what are identical twins? Well podcast Edo, identical twins can look exactly like each other. Could there be more than one twins? Sure, there's triplets, quintuplets, octuplets, and that, and they all can look the same. Wow, do you think in any shape, way, or fashion we could be twins by any chance? I don't think so, although we, we do look a little bit similar. But wait a minute, where's Game Show Edo at? Yeah, um... He's still hosting. He did text me tonight that he was going to be a little late tonight, though. So. Well, as long as he gets home, I guess. Hey, uh, podcast, Otto. Would you like to do the honors of starting a video? I got to do my intro, man. No problem. Now, everyone, please enjoy the second Korean report of Raha and Raham. Hello, Yaraba, and here's another video for all of you. Hello, Yaraba, and I'm for me, and I'm back with the second Hollywood wave. If you've been here before, but if you're not, welcome to my channel. But before we get into today's topic, I am going to share a link of my last podcast episode with Lynchpin, with the, along with a Sex Kids, Baby VOX, and a Rura tribute in the link below. For today's topic, we have Rahong and Raha history report. For the best of my knowledge, of speaking Hangu, of how I first found them, and like usual, let us begin. Their adventure starts on September the 4th, 1987 in Busan, South Korea. The actual names is really Hong and Ha. Before we get back to the twins, we got to go to JYP Records, and of course, JYP himself, JYP, aka Jin Young Park, born in the 13th of December of 1971 from Seoul, South Korea. When he was nine years old, he and his family were in New York since his father's new corporation was set up during that time. Until moving back to high school, from graduating from geology in 1996 in Yonsei University. During that time, he was studying R&B and hip hop while transferring it back to his hometown in 1994. That was when he released his first album called Blue City on the 1st of September in 1994. Two albums later, he got to have his own record label in April 25th of 1997 in Gangdong. The two group and artists that he signed during that time was Park Ji Young and G.O.D. Groove Overdose. The reason why I'm talking about JYP is because Ha and Hung practiced breakdancing during that time once JYP label started. G.O.D. member Park Jun has found them and said, Yo, man, someone hey, Juseo. And that, my friends, is how Ha and Hung not only got signed to JYP Records, but also their discography starts in the next chapter. Their first album released at the start of the millennium is translated as Twin Power, released on January the 8th of 2000. And there are three popular tracks for their first album, Chungo Mojile, 
What is Dance? Their first music video directed by Hong's Pictures. Hankyo Egeso, I Didn't Go to School, have the original and slowed down remix. Lastly, a song translated as Lil Promise had two versions as well. These songs made it to numerous television commercial appearance along with a song translated as She's Two Years Older Than Me featuring Park Jin Yoon. But they had to take a break since, ironically, they had to go to school. Two years later, they were cast in a movie called YMCA Baseball Team. It was a movie about how baseball was introduced in Korea in the 1900s. YG also did a soundtrack for that movie and happy 20th anniversary to this movie. Two years later, they released their sophomore and last album called Blue on the 7th of February 2004. That there folks is where we close the musical chapters of Rong, Hong, and Ha since they have been drafted. But there was more stuff done after the military, which we will find out in the next chapter. They were released from serving in the army in 2013, and the next year, that's when they officially made their own YouTube channel on August the 26th of 2014 where they perform the Ice Bucket Challenge. Two years later is when they made their huge comeback on a show called Running Man or Sugar Man. It's where artists from Korea who hasn't been on the scene for a while makes a new change and perform the songs and stories from the past. In that same year is where they both not only have their separate social media channels, but also start their own fashion company called Revamp. Recently, they made a song called Revamp on November the 29th of 2020 and recently celebrated their 22nd anniversary as well. And now is where we can successfully close the chapter both times on Rahang and Raha. And now we'll move on to the second to last chapter of what did I learn and why do I like them? What I loved and learned about them is their brotherhood of sticking together and them being around during the 2020s too. Now, here is my second attempt to speak Korean. Please enjoy. Itisam nim kalamida narin hangsengdiri yayosose gurigo sip hangyongte narin keyboard class ASDF Winchok LKJH Makta Iku Iku Nasa de YouTube Minda Narun Bogo Isuda Rahang Rahe Chungu Moji Le Music Champ MBC YouTube Channel Gurigo Chingu De why do they look like Zack and Cody? Where garden Zack and Cody boy minga? Hong ha dato se we Dylan and Cole Sprouse. Hajiman Guri gun Gambu Hego isuda Chingu ga Biok yakta. Hajiman Nanun Ugon Migoe Rap Group Crisscross Gurigo Tego Rap Group Raptor Misuge Soko Yoso Fun Fact Jalamun Sashi Nanun Ichipsam 
YouTube channel me da old school K-pop Haku Egeso MV me da. Nanin eat some duri jom my jena hago minunda chumuchuda noyego rap guri go gome some shi naru joahe. Maluda revamp Nadu Hemboke Yote Cheroge Comeback Yata Ye Bonje Hangu Goop Nadu Minda Rahong Rahe De Botun Nadu Sam Sao Guligo Yo Dong Sang Derota Iwo Iwo Pate Nalin Raha Rahong Day Yongo SL On January the eighth I declare Rahong and Raha Day. Also a bonus is Eagle Five Day will be celebrated on the April twenty seventh. Happy late twenty second anniversary to Hong and Ha. And happy early 24th anniversary to Eagle 5. Yogun Nadan Dashi Mahata. Speaking of English, my favorite moments of Ha and Hong is when June from GOD spoke English to them and their attempt to speak English to two girls as well. Another moment is what is dance performance on Music Champ because their yellow clothes remind me of my favorite color, which is green. And the people dressed up as animals in the background also made me laugh really hard as well. <laughs> did you know that they did a theme song a year before their debut of an anime show called Track City? And also they were on G.O.D. series where it's a show that they're taking care of a baby translated as baby diaries. My other favorite moment is one of my favorite artists of all time of Korean music, Boa, mentioned how cute they were from her debut. Please enjoy. <laughs> That will be all I have to say. I'm happy that I've done my second report on these guys. I'm very happy that they're still active today. And now we move on with our sponsors. Now, for today's shouts for this second report goes to, of course, Ra Hong and Ha of their social medias. June Park, what's up man, bam. J, Toki, Black Mochi, Azzy Animations, and of course, like my last podcast episode, Lynchpin. Thank you guys for watching this video. Coming up soon is for this channel is another episode of How Blank Created Blank and of course my 14th episode of Talking Fun with Edo with my good friend Rev. Goodbye for now my friends. Kansamida. I'll see you around. For another video in town. The reason why I'm talking about G I'm going to share a link of my last episode, the last podcast episode. Before 
But before we get into today's topic, I'm two albums later. That was directed by the G.O.D. By any shape, way, or fashion. Wow, do you think in it? Before we get back to the. Mmm. <laughs> and they're a team. English. Yo, man. Someone hug. Oh, man. Yo, old school K-pop. Hankun 